Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics Sanction. What I want to do today is give you a demo on how to create prediction queries using the SQL Server data mining add-in for Excel. So that is um, essentially all about, once you've built a data mining model, applying that model against the data set for which you want to make predictions for. So this, um, this demo um, follows on from a previous, uh, one of the earlier um, videos I did on YouTube, so that's um, the uh, video titled Creating Data Mining Structures and Predictive Models Using the Excel Add-in for SQL Server 2008. So if you want to, f um, to actually access the raw data um, and create the, the models that I'm using in this demo, you can uh, follow along that, uh, that earlier video to create the same uh, data mining models. So essentially what we're going to want to do is predict whether Customers in this uh, table here are likely to attend a marketing event. So all you need to do is select the uh, data set, click on the data mining uh, add-in, and I'm going to assume you've got that um, add-in already installed. Click on the query icon, um, go next, and then we're going to use the uh, decision tree model that we created earlier, as opposed to the uh, neural network. Click next. So what this does is uh, this window here just identifies the uh, the source data we're using. So that's the uh, 1,400 rows of data in the table. Click next. So what this um, next um, next window does is it basically maps the data mining model against the table uh, that we want to make the prediction on. So as you can see, the uh, row plan to attend marketing event doesn't appear in the uh, in our data set, because that's the uh, column we want to uh, predict. Now we click next. So we're going to add two outputs. We want to predict one, whether they're likely to attend, so that's pretty much a, a yes or no, but also apply a probability against that prediction as well. So we're going to add, um, the first one we'll just say predict. Um, I'll just go yes. No. Now we click predict. That's okay. I'm going to add another output. I'm just going to call this probability. That's just predict prob uh, probability. So we'll just leave it at that uh, for the moment. We we'll, we'll, won't bother putting in the support. Click OK. Next. And we're going to append the uh, our predictions directly against the table that we have there. I'll click finish. So what we've got are our predictions. So um, we can actually, um, so it's all fairly simple. We can uh, identify whether they attend and the probability. I'm just going to format that uh, uh, probability into a percentage, a couple of decimal places. So what we can do is um, we can actually We'll take this first row of data and we'll just re uh, refer it back against the actual uh, data mining model. I've got the data mining model down here. Oh, where is it hiding? Hiding right there. So I'm just gonna... And you can access this uh, data, the data mining, uh, that data mining model just by going uh, uh, browse model. Um, we've already got this created. So we look at this first row of data. We see that the customer has historic spend of $76,000 and they receive a marketing newsletter. So what we see is they receive a marketing newsletter and they have a historic spend of greater than $74,000 in the model. What the model says is that 99.94% uh, of those uh, of customers with that profile plan to attend. And what we we'll see, that's why the predictions plan to attend and the probability is 99.94%. Uh, so that's um, pretty much how to apply a uh, prediction against the data set. Um, if you found this um, demo useful, subscribe to my um, YouTube channel, then you'll get uh, updates every time I produce uh, more, uh, more videos. Um, the other option is to um, go across to my website, which is analyticsinaction.com, 
and uh, have a look there. I've got stacks and stacks of videos on data mining, and also what you might find useful if you're involved in data mining is um, some of the videos I've got on data integration. So quite often with data mining, uh, most of the time is actually soaked up by preparing data and getting into the right format to um, to allow you to um, create a model. So uh, SQL Server Integration Services is great for that. So I've got uh, information on a whole heap of different aspects of integration services, and I've also got a uh, got an overview of uh, how to uh, some suggestions on how to learn integration services from from scratch. So um, definitely come across and have a look at the. Um, the uh, website, I think you'll find it really useful.